In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what it's like inside of a luxury hotel onsen. We finally made it to Ajiro! I'm gonna let you in on this little hidden area, just an hour and a half away from Tokyo. Ajiro is a small spot right next to Atami, and we're in the cut at this old school fisherman's town to chillax at the hot spring and throw down on some seafood. You can actually choose which yukata you want to wear, this is pretty awesome! Look at this, that's pretty dope. He's so nice, he's making tea for us. <laughs> Look at that, he just poured us some tea and we got some sweets. Mm. Alright, let's check out sweets that they have. It almost looks like a piece of dough. Mmm, mushy, mashy, sweet. Ah, it's pretty good. So enough of the dessert. Let me show you around the room because tea time is over. All right, so, and on the balcony, this room has its own rotemburo, which is like an onsen bath. But first, let me show you the rest of the room. It's got a flat screen TV. It's got a safe to keep your belongings. It's got a smoking section right here. Two seats. Has a fridge filled with beer and juice. And it has this cool balcony area overlooking the ocean. I don't know if you guys can see this, but look. Right behind me is the ocean right there. It's so freaking cool. Now the two rooms are completely separated. These things are pretty thin, so I think you can hear each other. Michael. Hello. Michael. Hello. Michael. Hello. There you are. <laughs> As you can see, this place is pretty cool. All right, so before I show you guys more of this room, let me change first. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, Michael, come over here. All right, ready? All right, ready, set, go. <laughs> All right, so one thing that you guys need to know when you're putting on these yukatas, the left side is on top if you're still alive. Let's go explore. This is the lobby. What's really cool about this place is that it's only about an hour and a half outside of Tokyo so you can just get on the train and come here for a day trip which means that you can just like go in the onsen and then go back home or like what I'm doing tonight is just like stay overnight and then leave in the morning which is like pretty awesome because it's just so close to Tokyo and this place is actually right by the train station it's like less than a five minute walk pretty damn dope and check it out you could even get souvenirs here too <laughs> 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 Kata was actually a little bit too short, so he's actually getting me a longer one. So nice, I love the service here. Wow, they even got an entertainment room and slot machines here. Look, they even have Ninja Coon. I feel like I'm in the 80s. So we're on the fifth floor now. So this is where some of the private baths are. Usually in the public baths, genders are separated. So you have the men on one side, you have the women on this side. In this place, you can have a couple and the bath together. It's so cool. So if you don't have your own private bath inside of your room, you can come here instead. Wow, look at this onsen bath. It's just so nice. Oh, it's actually pretty warm to the touch. Like the more you put your hand in, the hotter and hotter it gets. Wow, look at that. Ah. Let me just take a minute to show you guys how to use an onsen because I get so many questions from people on how to use an onsen. I just want to like break it down for you guys really quickly. It's actually super easy. You just need to follow these quick, simple tips. So before you get into the onsen bath, you have to actually wash yourself completely. The reason why you want to wash your body before you get into the onsen is because everyone uses the same onsen water. You can use these as your seats. 
and these as a way to put water on your head. They usually provide soap, shampoo, and conditioner. This is a private bath, no one is in here, but even a public bath, there's gonna be other people in the onsen water, so you just have to be very respectful, not to splash and do anything like that, but you guys probably already know. Sit here for like maybe five, 10, 15 minutes, whatever you like. You don't usually wanna stay here longer than 30 minutes because you might pass out. Once you get out of the onsen, all you need to do is just dry off. You don't really need to take a shower because you don't wanna wash all of the onsen minerals off. Easy peasy. Let's move on to the next place. Whoa! Ah damn, this place is big! And all of this is a private bath so you can come here with a group and share the onsen together. That's awesome! <sighs> Refreshing right after the onsen. Oh, this ashiyu feels so good. Whoa, that was fun. Now it's time for dinner. All right, guys, so I have just like a little secret. Michael right now is in the private onsen over there in the balcony. So today, I'm actually going to propose to her. <laughs> One second. I actually got a ring. So what you guys don't really know is that Maiko is a huge part of my life and in fact he's a huge part of this channel. You guys don't see her a lot of the times but she's like helping me do this whole thing and we are like the perfect team. I'm actually like not much for words but I want to share this moment with you guys because hey why not? You guys have been here through the beginning. For some of you guys that don't know Maiko and haven't seen her, you guys are like new to this, like if you've like watched a lot of my earlier vlogs, she's in a lot of them. But yeah, let's do this. Okay, just gotta like wait until she's out of the tub. So I'll set the camera just like outside in the balcony. She just thinks that we're normally vlogging so she won't really know. And then we'll do it. We'll do it. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be so great. There you go. There it is. Good to go. It's dinner time! Wow, look at all of this awesome food. Everything is like so delicate and precise. Oh wow, and holy crap. <laughs> this is the entire menu that we're getting tonight. So what you see right now is just the beginning. Look at this Ise Ebi appetizer. Mm, this is heaven. This is soybean tofu. <clears throat> Look at that, it's anako. So good. The dashi is really nice. <laughs> Man, this is crazy, they have sashimi. Marbly, my favorite is gonna be this uni. This is kin made I shabu shabu. Then they got a freaking big ass fish. Look at that. Check that out. Awabi and uni. We're still only like halfway to the meal. Uh, there's uni, awabi, and iwanori on top. Wow. That's a taste you don't have on an everyday basis. This is like luxury to the max. There's just more food, it just keeps coming and coming. And after dinner, they even set up our futons. All right, I think that's it. Dinner was awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And 
this is what it's all about. Nothing like waking up in the morning and having a private onsen right in your room. Oh, and it overlooks the ocean. This is so awesome. So just chill here for another few minutes and then we're ready to start our day. Look what I just found. Ninja socks. I love all the little details. There's like six different dishes in this box. It's Aji. Usually at Ryokans they have a freshly made kimono, which is dried fish. Oh man, I'm so hungry, ready to eat. All right, so that concludes the video. This really is an awesome day trip that you guys can take from Tokyo. So convenient. What do you guys think? Worth coming here? 